Taking a look at the Eve Peak CD3 multi uh, battery charger for all your uh, drones, quadcopters, uh, RC planes, uh, remote controlled cars, everything you name it. Uh, it's a multi stage charger for uh, just about any battery that you could have. All right, so we are going to turn this on. We've got uh, two sides to charge batteries with. And these are the uh, XT60 leads that I've got hooked up into it now for the LiPo batteries that I use for drones. And then we've got our balancing boards over here, which go all the way up to 6S, which would be a 6 cell. We've got that on both sides. Um, all right, so as we can see here in the charging screen, once we boot it up, we're presented with uh, two screens that are the same thing. And you can charge different types of batteries at the same time. So uh, for now, I'll show you how to charge this uh, drone battery as we use it for. It's a 1300 4S. You can see four individual cells into here. And so under here, oops, we're gonna go back. This is a touchscreen model, by the way, two touchscreens. We're gonna leave it on the LiPo section. We're gonna hit charge. We'll change those settings in a second, but let's plug it in. So we've got our standard XT60 connection here. I can only go in one way, plug that in. Now since this is a four cell battery, we're gonna plug this into the balance lead or the uh, balance board over here under the 4S setting. Make sure that's securely plugged in. So we can set the settings on here now to uh, reflect the battery that we're gonna charge. 4S at the top, that's fine. We'll go down, we're gonna hit enter once. And since this is a 1300 battery, we're gonna dial this down to 1300. And uh, there's a little bit of math you can do to uh, determine the current that you wanna charge your battery at. So you take the uh, milliamp hour rating and divide that by 1000. So we've got, there's a 1300 rated uh, capacity battery. We'll charge it at 1.3 amps. Uh, and of course, this is a normal battery, nothing high voltage. So we will only go to 4.2 volts per cell. Um, one little thing I can tell you as far as a tip when you're charging these batteries, if you want to charge it faster, you could actually bump this up to about 2 amps safely. That's not completely a 2C charge rate. Uh, 2C charge rate, uh, if I'm doing the math right, would be 2.6 amps. So anything, close, anything under 2C uh, for a battery such as this would probably be safe, but obviously read your uh, owner's manual of the battery. So I will uh, hit enter on this hit up a few times, oops, I'll go back there, enter, we'll go up to two, two amps, that's safe, and then we'll uh, press and hold enter, and we'll give that a second, and it's going to charge. And so over here we can see the amps that are going into the battery, the uh, internal resistance, the voltage, the capacity, all that stuff, and what I like to do while it's charging is hit unit, and I can take a look at the actual cell percentages or the uh, voltages actually of each cell. Um, so 3.7, it's basically a dead battery there. Uh, charges up to 4.2 for this normal battery. And we can go back, we can also check out the graph as well. So you can see this when this is charging. This, eh, it's not that useful, but you can kind of tell, you know, how, uh, how long it might take for your battery to charge. If it's flatlined, then uh, it'll probably be just about ready to go soon. So anyway, that's that. If you want to charge a 2S for uh, what's typical of Fat Shark battery, it goes in your goggles, we would do something very similar, but of course, because it's not the XT60 lead, we're going to switch it out for uh, this barrel style connection. You still have your positive and your negative. So we'll pop this out over here, and you definitely want to make sure you're putting the black in the black, the red in the red, because if you don't, then that's when bad things happen. But I believe this charger might actually have a safety shut off and if it, it recognizes anything abnormal, it might actually uh, stop you from doing it. So anyways, you just plug this barrel connection in there. Uh, you still got your balance lead. This is a 2S, so this would go into the uh, first one here in the balance board. And this battery happens to be a, let's see what's capacity. It's a 1800 milliamp hour rated capacity battery. That's very typical of those. So under LiPo, we'd go to charge. And actually, it already recognized that. So we could charge it right out of the, you know, just hit enter and, and it'd be fine with this battery in the setting. Um, we could, of course, bump it up a little bit to about two amps. That would charge it a little bit quicker. And uh, 
you know, that's basically only if you feel comfortable doing that and if you can keep an eye on it while you're charging. Uh, so anyways, while we've got this here, let's take a look at some of the other settings that we can do for different types of batteries. Uh, since we're not going to charge this battery, it's okay to leave it plugged in. Uh, it's not actually doing anything while it's plugged in unless it's set to be being charged. So of course, as you've seen, we've got the LiPo section here. Um, you can go back to, you can see uh, the cells, you can go under here and view each cells, you can balance balance a battery pack if it's not, but most of the time when you're charging a battery it charges pretty quickly so you're going to charge it on a balance setting anyways. Uh, you can set up settings in there, uh, some more stuff you can do, you've got your uh, lead batteries uh, forming, not sure what that actually would be for some specific type battery, and uh, NICAD batteries, we've got and IMH batteries. You can also charge and discharge almost on any type battery with this charger, which is great for uh, storing your batteries for extended periods of time during the winter when you're not using them, or just if you want to ship them, sell them, uh, keep in storage voltage, which is typically going to be about 3.8 volts for a LiPo battery. Uh, also check, uh, you know, some manuals online as far as uh, voltage settings for other batteries. But uh, we've got uh, high voltage battery packs. Same thing as a LiPo, basically you just give the ability to go up to 4.35 volts per cell. And again, you wanna keep an eye on that because uh, high voltage batteries can be a little bit more dangerous. So only charge when you are in the uh, vicinity of your charger. All right, and we've got LIFE batteries, the same charge, discharge, and storage uh, cycles there are the options for that. Uh, Lithium-ion batteries, LiPo, uh, as we were before. All right, so let's, since we've already got this battery charging here, let's dive into how to discharge a battery. It's very similar. We've already got it plugged in, and we would just go to discharge. We would set what we want it to discharge to, so 3.82, that's about a safe number. Uh, this pack is not 1850, this is 1300, so we would want to set that, of course and then the uh, current for the discharge rate, 2.2 amps, eh, that's about fine. And we just press and hold enter if we want to do that. Since I actually do want to charge this battery, I'm not going to discharge it anymore. It might already be at 3.82, so it's fine to leave there. Um, another uh, cool feature about this charger is it actually has a USB port down here which provides 2.1 amps out. So for uh, your Fat Shark goggles, or anything else that has a uh, USB plug on it. Great option for that. So right here we actually have a micro USB port for these Fat Shark batteries where we can plug those in. And instead of actually using this balance lead and you know having to redo all this wiring, you can actually just plug it into there, charge a third battery being this one while you've got you know one over here and one over here. So that works out really well. And um, as far as the outside of the uh, unit, We've got you know just your standard plugs here, power cord, power button there, and basically the same thing on the other side. Everything over there. You can actually plug in a very large uh, battery in here if you wanted to instead of having to plug this into the wall. It does have a fan, a couple fans, so when it gets hot, it will uh, cool down all your uh, batteries and the internal storage or the internal unit. But uh, anyways, this is a great unit, and we'll have uh, links down below for uh, where to purchase this.